Hey YouTube, this is Shan for Zan, and today I am not making an app review for you guys, but instead I am going to show you guys how exactly to clean, keep your iPod screen clean. Um, I know if you guys do download any of the applications that I review, you guys might be wondering, how do I clean my iPod screen? It's super smudgy, it's dirty, it's filthy. Well, that's what this video is for. Um, the first thing that I would recommend having for this are these pieces of gold sitting in front of me, lint-free cloths. These are absolutely amazing. Without having a, um, without having any sort of solution like a monster cleaning, um, solution or anything like that, these, you don't even need a liquid for these. These just go over your screen and then all of a sudden you might have, you'll ha you will have a very clean screen after that. That'll keep the general fingerprints, smudges, stuff like that off. For a more hardcore deal, like a, I don't know, something, uh, like a layer of film or something like that that might be on your screen, having that type of solution is extremely nice. And doing that every once in a while would be a very nice thing. Um, all you need to do is spray it onto a paper towel like I have here, and then um, apply some onto your screen. You do not need a lot, maybe even not even a full spray. Um, but just put some on, and then you don't even have to put, um, don't put on your, on your camera or your button, if you, um, depending on which type of model you may have, and then just go over it, just enough to cover up your screen and just wipe over the whole entire thing. It's that simple, and that'll keep it, keep it clean. Um, I've read on the internet that things like Windex may work, um, I'm not 100% sore on that, I would only use something that, um, is made for your iPod, uh, that's made for your made specifically for your iPod, something that's safe, uh, just keep the best bet, and, um, that's what I would do, but, um, or find something that isn't, that doesn't have any ammonia in it, that's not, in, uh, that's not good either, um, but other than that, those two things would, would be very key, um, lastly, um, yeah, lastly, I would recommend, if you can, invest in a screen protector, those, for this type of method of cleaning, would be the best, it, you can get away with a little bit more than you can just the screen. You don't have to worry about scratching, breaking, anything like that. Or, yeah, nothing like that unless you're just doing something extremely crazy. But uh, other than that, then those, that's like the best bet. I mean, when you buy a case, when I buy a case, typically, unless I just love the case, I like a screen protector with it to keep it clean. That's just my one of my things. That's what I like to do. And um, that way it, it saves me money you know, on buying two different things. But, um... Or just buy the screen protector separately. I mean, that's very much an option as well. But um, um, I'll put some links in the description in the description about things that um, products that you might want to consider looking at for this. But uh, other than that, that's how I would clean clean my iPod screen. Just keep in mind, I use a screen protector, so this method would be the best for me. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video that I made. It's not an app review, but I will make some more this week. I promise. And uh, other than that, that is the video. I ask you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe um, to know when I do make that app review. And um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. For more videos uploaded by Chan for Zan, please click on one of the links above.